All right, let's do another first order linear differential equation using an integrating factor. Okay, so let's look at our differential equation. Here it is. All right, is it in the, is it in the form of this guy over here? Hell no, it's not. So we got to do some division. We're just going to divide everything out. Right? And yeah, those cancel out, so we get plus y over x plus 1, and that is equal, it looks like, cosine x over x plus 1. Okay, not a problem. Okay, um, let's see here. So let's, uh, here, here's how the numbers match. Um, let's see here. Okay, so uh, here's our y's match. You know, here's our here's our function of x. Um, so what is p of x is one over x plus one. Okay, so we'll just integrate this thing. So we'll integrate that with respect to x. And what do we get? We get natural log absolute value. Okay, and then for our integrating factor. Remember, we want to raise. We want to raise this to the power of e. So if we raise a, a natural log, or if we raise e to the, to the natural log, it just, you know, it just comes right back to us. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, I'm going to assume that this is positive, and it'll work itself out in the end. But um, for right now, let's just let's just. Um, you know, assume our integrating factor to be x plus 1. Okay? So, let's see here. And let me, let me highlight that. Alright. Okay, so now we just, we just got to multiply everything through by, um, yeah, x plus 1. So, x plus 1 dx plus x plus 1 y which is you know divided by x plus 1 is equal to cosine x over x plus 1 and then we kind of make sure that doesn't run into there so this is this is good because this will cancel out this will cancel out this will cancel out this is this will cancel out okay so I like it I like it so far, so I'm just going to rewrite it without all the junk next to it. Okay, so there I go. Alright, that's what I'm left with, right? Just make sure. Yep, that's what I'm left with. So, let's see here. Ooh, no, that's not what I'm left with. Remember? Right there? Okay, cool. Only human folks. Okay, so what do we got? So if I if I go ahead, if, if I want to say that if 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 y is a function f, then dy dx would be f prime, correct? And likewise, if x plus one was a function called g, then this you know invisible one that's really over there that would be g prime, right? So I could just go ahead and do this. This is just uh, the same thing we've been doing. And that's equal to cosine x. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to integrate both sides with respect to x. And where is that going to leave me? That will cancel out. Remember, if I integrate a derivative, it just cancels out. Okay, so I get a y multiplied by x plus 1. And then, let's see here, if I, if I take the derivative of sine, I get cosine, right? So this is just sine of x plus c2. Okay, now I'm just going to subtract c1 from both sides, constant 1. And let's see here, uh, an unknown constant minus another unknown constant, that's just another unknown constant. Okay, so 
Um, since we, in differential equations, we're hunting down a function, um, let me go ahead and get y by itself. I could do it like that, that's not a problem. So y is equal to sine of x plus c, x over 1, okay? Um, now let's pretend for just a minute, let's just say that, let's just say that y of, I don't know, y of 0 is equal to 1, I don't know, I just made that up, let's see if it works. So if, so if that was true, then 1 would be equal to, let's see, sine of 0 plus c over, well, if it, it'd be 0 plus 1. So let's see here, what, what do we have? So we have, this would be 0 plus c, so that's just c, and down here that's just 1, so it'd be c over 1 is just c, so it looks like c is actually just equal to 1. So if we want to go back and I, see, when I get, see, remember this is the general solution, I always just leave a, a plain old y, but once I've figured out what my c is and I have the actual particular situ, uh, <laughs> particular solution, bleh, got tongue tied, then I write it as y of x. So then I get sine of x looks like plus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, now let me take a look here. Um, one other thing we need to consider is this x plus 1 right here, let's just kind of retrace our steps. Where did it come from? It came from the integrating factor, didn't it? Okay, and back from the first part, we said that the absolute value of this, okay, so so whatever so whatever comes out of this, this thing has to be positive. Okay, so, I mean, I guess if we want to really think about it like that, we might want to just kind of put this in absolute value bars right there. So, um, you know, that, that'll, just, that'll just make sure that we're, we're proper and, you know, we, we, we just want to make sure that, I mean, we, we could put any any x value in there we wanted and the absolute value you know would, would, would make it positive uh, without the absolute value bars there's a possibility that y of x could be negative I mean I, and I guess it, it possibly it still could be negative you know I don't know maybe it could have been like sign of like x could have been like 3 pi over 2 or something you know so yeah well, that wouldn't work because that would make it worth zero but you know, hey, think about it, you know? So, just, just to be proper, keep the math teachers happy. So, rock on and thanks for watching.